Guess who thinks he is very clever with flashy titles. Good morning, Vietnam. Matthew Williams here in association with Drone User magazine. And I was noticing something. And I wonder whether you notice it when it's pointed out. I'd never seen this before, although it's there in all my footage, and it's probably there in your footage. And the funny thing is, I got a funny feeling you may have never noticed this before. See these nice telegraph poles? They're pretty much up straight. That one there is up straight. The one further back is a little bit tilted over. Um, but they're up straight, and that's great. They look nice, and we can go for a flight around them, and everything looks good, as it should be. A good example of when DJI footage looks nice. Now the reason for this is because the gimbal is pointed absolutely square at the horizon. So it is not pointed down at all. It is completely upright at the horizon. And therefore when we're flying around here you can see the telegraph poles look absolutely perfect. Nothing to write home about as it should be. But I'm guessing you won't have noticed what I'm just about to show you because in many cases the brain compensates and it's just something you don't realize is going on unless of course you end up shooting footage where you're doing two-thirds which means your lineup is no longer straight along the middle let's show you a line to show you where straight along the middle is so here's our little marker line which shows you pretty much where halfway up the screen is and if you film like this with your camera pointing at the horizon you will not have any issues at all but look what happened to me when I was filming at two-thirds across the horizon as I'll show you now so here's the clip that made me start to think what's going on now you'll notice that we're not filming in line with the horizon so the gimbal is down about 30 degrees now watch what happens to that antenna mast in the distance when we pan watch the antenna mast as it goes to the edge it bends did you see that let's show you to you again so here you can see again it more correctly the term is skews it skews across and here's slowed down and zoomed in so you can see it now we can slow the footage down when it moves to the extreme right or extreme left it will skew so the top of it will move over further than the bottom so now we go back to our telegraph pole we're pointing pretty much back at the horizon and you can see we can your left and go up and down and nothing happens to these verticals they're perfect so we're not getting the same problem that we were getting with the previous piece of footage whereby the antenna in the distance was skewing off to the left and right but it's all to do with the fact that the gimbal is pointing straight ahead at the horizon now if we tilt the gimbal down to match the footage look at that telegraph pole in the left and look at the one in the center when it's in the center it's up straight and the one behind it is up straight as the one behind it goes to the right it starts to skew over to the right and the one in the center as it goes over to the right it starts to skew to the right now please tell me I'm going crazy because I had never noticed this before because most of the time I'm shooting on things where I'm focusing at stuff on the ground and I haven't got antennas and masts in my picture so as you can see if we've got it pointing up above the horizon like an antenna would be so simulating like the previous footage now it doesn't matter if we rise up in the air or if we're low the effect will still happen when you come to the edges you see it's tilted off to the left when we come back into the center it goes up straight when we come over to the right it skews to the right central skews to the left and it will happen to all objects in the scene not just telegraph poles but it's actually happening to the landscape as well but this is the funny thing 
Your brain compensates for this, and when things are below the horizon, notice how your brain doesn't really care. Have a look at the footage, see if you agree with me. When it's below the horizon, you can point the camera right down and the effect is incredibly exaggerated now and you can see that the one in the distance is curving a lot and now this one curves a hell of a lot look how much curve there is now these are really curving and skewing and bending if we tilt back up watch what happens as we tilt back up to the natural horizon suddenly they straighten <laughs> it's like a magic trick I'd never noticed this before in my footage. I'd never known it was there. Fully camera level with the horizon, straight and level with the horizon, all the verticals are perfect. I thought I was losing my sanity when I saw this. I thought, no, this can't be there. I've gone back and looked at all my old footage. It's there in all my old footage. Look what happens. If it's in the center, you're fine so you don't notice it but when you start to creep across to the edge because we've tilted down quite a lot now look at the bend straight bent and it's there in all my footage but when it's below the horizon for some reason you don't seem to take an awful lot of notice of it in objects like telegraph poles and also buildings but when things poke out above the horizon it looks really bad now look how much this will tilt in a second we're, we're almost pointed down if we come up look it goes straight as if by magic now the effect I've found out is called parallax also like keystone look how much bend there is there so if you were filming down at the ground things would naturally in your footage be bending outwards and I'd never noticed that and it's just blown my mind so apart from the fact that pretty much if you want to keep things l not doing the strange bend you have to film level with the horizon but this is boring because really I like to film two-thirds I mean sky just seems a bit of a waste of real estate sometimes so how can you film not 50-50 but not get the bends well if you shoot at 4k and then you slide the image up you should have enough resolution to edit at 2k but your footage is at 4k so you're not going to lose anything and you can slide the footage up and still maintain your quality so that's one way around it let's have a little look at um, how we could do that here so if we stop this footage so I've frozen this piece of footage and now we're going to scale up to 150 percent of course this should be 4k and then we're going to slide the footage up so it makes two-thirds and let's re let it run and see what it looks like so we get rid of our pink left hand 50-50 marker and we introduce this two-thirds marker which shows us that two-thirds of the way up the screen is now our horizon but we're not doing it by tilting the camera down the camera is pointed straight ahead but we're getting this two-thirds effect by using 4k footage well this is 2k footage in fact zooming into 150 percent and moving the actual frame upwards so now we can get that two-thirds look we're trying to achieve without getting any of the parallax effect of bending the uh, bending these and skewing these verticals so that's one quick and easy way to get around it if you want to shoot like that if you want to shoot in two-thirds if you haven't got the time if it's too much of a head scratcher for you you can always shoot 50-50 and not get the vertical problem but this is one way around it so the next question is can you actually remove the effect and yes there's a way you can find if you type in here 3d 3d it'll call up perspective to do the basic swivels tilts and you can change your distance to the image then as you move around you can see you are introducing the effects you can also take the effect out.
Don't fly your drone over water. Don't don't don't. Just don't. Dot com.